Welcome everybody to the Shino Numa Easter Egg Guide. This is going to be taking you through how to build the free Wonder Waff, which you're going to need for the Easter Egg, and then how to actually complete the Easter Egg itself. And as always, if Treyarch updates any steps or anything else is found, I'm going to leave it in the top of the description. So just check that real quick. Make sure there's nothing else that you need to know for this Easter Egg before going into it. And without further ado, let's get into the first step, which is building the Wonder Waff. So for the first step of building the Wonder Waff, you're going to need to grab the barrel from the fishing hut. It's going to be right there on the shelf, glowing gold, very, very easy to see. And you're going to take it over to the the con room exterior in the water there's going to be this big electrical box you're going to place it inside of there and you're going to go inside of the con room and turn on the trap the electric trap inside of there is actually going to activate a lockdown and you need to just basically hold down this area defend it until it's over and you're going to be able to pick up the charged barrel from this room now once you grab that charged barrel you're actually going to pick up a second part that just completed at the same exact time that you did this step head back inside the con room and on this little radio is going to be a charged vacuum tube and this is two different parts that you need out of four already already done and you're going to go ahead and move on to the next charge vacuum tube the next thing you need to get is in the comms room you need to pick up the electrical fuse that is sitting on this table with the light very very simple to pick up and take it over to the storage room and you need to actually turn on this trap it will activate for a few seconds and then it will break saying that it needs an electrical fuse lucky for you we just picked this up go ahead and place it right back into the trap and then you need to get a number of zombie kills until you hear a voice quote saying you have uh, gathered enough souls you've gathered enough zombies and everything like that and you are good to go on to the next step but keep getting those kills it will charge up the fuse on the table make sure you place this barrel down while you're here and we're on to the final part of the wonder waff so for the final wonder waff part you need to actually get to round 15 and bring the mini boss zombie that starts spawning on round 15 down to the bottom floor of the main hut of shino numa and there's the giant electrical tesla coil sit sitting here and basically you just need to have her attack you over and over and over with these charged mines while you're standing next to it run away let them explode and when they explode they will actually charge up this tesla coil and when you've done enough there will be a light glowing tube right here you can pick it up and that is the final part take it all back over to the workbench build it up and you have crafted the first ever wonder waff so the wonder waff is required for the easter egg but you can actually get a couple of these steps done early so it just depends on how you want to play your game you can do this pretty much right when it starts the very first step of the easter egg is you need to blow all of the vines off of this little monolith thing you need to use the boom shriers kill them next to it and it will clear all the plants and you'll see that you are able to actually insert a cipher key into this monolith once you have this cleared off, you need to actually pick up the three parts for the cipher key. They're very, very easy to find. The first one is in the doctor's quarters. You'll see it in the corner of the room over here. Very easy to pick up. The second one is right behind Pack-a-Punch in the dig site area. It's just on this little table. Again, very easy to pick up. And the last one is bottom floor of the spawn in the dormitory. You'll find it right here in this corner. Pick that up. And once you have all three parts, I will show you now how to actually get which three symbols you need to input into this thing. The key you see on screen is what is found in the map, and you don't actually need to find it in your game at all because I have it screenshotted here for you all, and you can just refer back to this anytime you need to actually use the symbol translator. So basically, you're going to find symbols in the map, and that is going to correspond to one of the symbols on the left, and that is going to equal the symbol that is right next to it. So basically, you find the three symbols on the left side, and then that corresponds to a symbol on the right, and then you use those three symbols on the right to actually insert into the cipher key. I'll show you what that looks like right now. So the three locations of the scraps of papers you need that are going to have the symbol on the left are as follows the first one is at the dig site right on top of the armor crafting workbench you're going to take that translate it to the symbol to the right the next one up is in the comm room it is going to be on this table again translate that to another symbol using the chart from before and the last one is going to be in the excavation room which is the bottom floor of spawn and you actually need to melee or shoot some books off of this you'll see it partially poking out but you'll shoot the books off and you'll be able to see that symbol right there so now you have your three symbols that you found in the map you translate those to new symbols that are on the right and you input them into the cipher key all at the top row so you're going to basically just adjust the key back and forth and you're going to make sure you lock in your symbols starting at the top to the middle your three symbols and once you lock it in if done correctly the the obelisk the statues around it will start glowing and basically you are ready for the next step which requires you to have the wonder weapon you can start this step but if you don't have the wonder weapon this step will not work so get the wonder weapon get the wonder off dg2 and then activate these statues at the same time with however many players you have in the game if you're solo you'll just have to do it by yourself if you're with four everyone will have to do it at the same time and if done correctly it will start a lockdown step now during this lockdown the person with the wonder weapon needs to be on their a game because this is a very difficult step you basically just need to as quickly as possible kill the blue glowing zombies on top of the island which is in the middle where you put in that cypher key and you only have a limited amount of time to do this there are a bunch of blue lines going from these uh these little obelisks that you activated that line is basically how much time you have left there's no way to extend it there's no way to do better basically once all four of those 
those lines disappear if you've not killed enough blue glowing zombies on this middle island platform you will basically fail and have to go to the very next round to try again it is very difficult to do you have to be killing zombies very very quickly with the wonder waff the wonder waff takes forever to reload but basically if you're do doing it correctly you will see that after you wonder waff a zombie that is glowing blue its soul will go into the very top of this and if the at the very end you have killed enough zombies you will get a success quote and you will see a little mini cutscene if you've done it incorrectly it'll say come back next round so kill as quickly as possible very very difficult step this is the hardest one in the game but once you have done it correctly you can move on to the next one now once you hear the entire cutscene you basically need to start getting flogger kills there will be a little pool of blood and what looks like a broken perk fountain but getting flogger kills will actually fill this up and eventually there will be enough flogger juice in there that you can actually drink from it and you will go into a special sort of vision now once you're in this vision there are a couple things you need to look out for you need to run around the entire map and try to find one half of the mirror now you will see it glowing it'll be very very obvious when you find it and you need to pick that up and the other thing you need to look out for is red glowing orbs in the map and when you find one of these red glowing orbs it will actually lead you to the other half of the mirror you need to pick up both of those things if you run out of time eventually you will lose the vision and that's totally normal uh you basically just need to keep on going over and over scour the entire map until you find both halves of the mirror and once you do that you are ready for the next step it's very easy just run around the map fill it up with flogger kills and you should be able to finish the step easy peasy no problem so once you have both halves of the mirror, head over to Pack-a-Punch and you're going to go ahead and place it down. You'll hear some more character quotes in this little dig site area. And then these orbs will all spawn kind of surrounding this mirror. It'll be the same number of players as you have in your game. Two for two players, four for four players. And basically you all need to hold activate at the exact same time. If done correctly, the orbs will fly up into the air and each player needs to chase the orb that they activated. They will all fly around the map. Some of them will go close by. Some of them will go all the way to the other side. And basically you need to shoot them three times before they return home. Every single time you shoot it, it'll move. And you need to do this quickly because it, it is a time-based thing. And if you fail, you might have to go to the next round. Sometimes you can attempt it multiple times. But after all the players in the game have shot their respective orb three times, they will all return back home. You all need to run back over here and hold activate one more time. And this is going to start the boss fight. So for the boss fight, it has three stages and you're basically fighting a glorified mini boss here, but the mini boss is going to be in mute until you use the Wonder Waff to basically break her seal. So you need to do the exact same thing you did for the previous lockdown step. There are going to be glowing zombies that spawn in and you need to kill them close to the middle podium with the Wonder Waff the exact same way, except this one is much, much easier because you do not have to deal with a time limit. You can take as much time as you want on this. The only thing you really need to worry about is ammo. So don't run out of ammo or else you might kind of just be screwed for this if you don't have enough to buy ammo from the ammo crate but if you are doing it correctly it should be very very easy and eventually this bubble will come up and you'll be able to shoot her face off and basically do enough damage that she will go immune again the second phase is the exact same as the first one except this time the boom shooters the exploding zombies are going to be the ones that are going to be glowing blue that you need to absorb their souls you'll get a max ammo after each phase so you'll be able to do this pretty darn easily and you will again be able to damage her face again last one is uh probably the hardest one just because you have to deal with them but it, this is going to be the shooting zombies the shooting zombies are now going to be the ones that you have to collect their souls they are going to be glowing blue but make sure they're close enough kill them with the wonder waff and their souls will be absorbed and you will be able to finish her off for the last time and just as a general tip all across vanguard zombies the higher round you are the more difficult this is going to be if you do this early by like round 20 it is going to be extremely easy boss fight if you do this at round 50 it is going to be an extremely hard boss fight so make sure you try to keep the rounds as low as possible that's the only tip because it's very very easy boss fight if you do it at a low round but once you've done that you will get a quote you will get some cut scenes you will get all that good stuff you will get the achievement and that is the entire easter egg completed if you guys did enjoy this tutorial make sure you hit that like button if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and reminder to check that description if you were having trouble for any sort of updates or maybe possible uh things that Treyarch has patched or just any additional tips that i might give you guys there anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one and bye bye